Hey, so in this video, I wanted to share some thoughts on how to talk to your kids about pornography. I work with a lot of youth who have gotten themselves into a lot of trouble and reason for it is that earlier on in life, there were just no people that talked to them about important topics that could have saved them a lot of trouble. Pornography is definitely one of those topics. So having seen what can happen farther down the road, it's so important to me as a mom, I'm going to be talking to my kid about pornography starting very early and I'd love to encourage you and equip you to be able to do the same for your kid. A lot of parents avoid the topic because they want to preserve their child's innocence but here's food for thought being innocent and being naive are two very different things somebody preserves their innocence by having the information that they need to navigate difficult situations so that they don't end up having experiences that hurt them in the long run somebody who is naive does not have the information that they need and so when they're presented with a difficult or challenging circumstance they can make very poor choices that end up hurting them really badly so when it comes to pornography, how do we make sure that our kids are equipped with information that they need that makes sure they're not naive and therefore helps to preserve their innocence? Well, here we go. I would suggest being able to talk to your kids about pornography just means finding a way to explain it that is appropriate for their age. It doesn't mean not explaining it. It means, okay, for your age, however old they are, how do I explain for you? And so my kid is you know, just a little over a year and a half and right at his eye level magazines right now there are pictures uh, one in particular i think it's glamour magazine has a fully naked woman yeah. on there okay well it's something i can point out to a year and a half old oh okay you know what that's interesting somebody has a picture of a person's body on the front that's not normally something that we look at pictures of um it could be something you know that simple if you're starting to get into older ages where you have a child maybe wondering they've heard the word and they're going mom what's pornography they can't even pronounce it properly because they're that little um giving an answer like oh well pornography is anything that causes us to focus on somebody's body instead of on getting to know them as a person and so it could just be that simple the start of a conversation and then as they get older helping them to apply more complex principles maybe you're walking through a museum with your teenager and yeah you're starting to get into conversations about that naked statue is that art is that pornography is it you know what is it and so it's definitely complex there aren't easy answers but by helping to develop your child's uh, problem-solving cognitive logical skills reasoning that's the word I was looking for um, then they can engage with the concept and help to apply it to their lives making good decisions so having said all that a um, couple of additional thoughts for you uh, things like making sure that you just include in the concept of pornography that it's not just magazines or movies there are definitely you know pictures on the internet there are books um, there's a very 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 strong romantic novel uh, industry that is geared towards women and so just pornography comes in a lot of different shapes and forms it's not just an image something to look at but sometimes it's words that help to create pictures in our brains so you can help kids be prepared for you're going to encounter a lot of things that cause us to focus more on a person's body instead of getting to know them as a person so by looking at this or by reading this or by watching this does it help you to get to know the person better or does it just make you focus on their body and also one more clue for you is something pornography or not getting to know the person if the person's not actually there in the room with you it's very hard to get to know them as a person so if they're not in the room with you and you're looking at a picture or a movie or reading about them ah okay well chances are it's leaning more towards pornography than getting to know the person and building a relationship with them um, why do you need to look at pictures of a celebrity you've got people that you can get to know right in front of you so anyways there's that concept. Um, the other thought is just please, please, please don't treat your sons and daughters differently from each other. I think our society is just on the tip of maybe, just maybe starting to acknowledge men and women as equally sexual beings. Um, research was being done in 2009 studying female anatomy and we were starting to have more breakthroughs realizing, oh, maybe some of our outdated information saying, Guys are sexual, women are not. No, okay, are you kidding me? Um, now that we're learning more about Google search results and who's looking for what, there's incredible evidence. Are you kidding me? No, men and women are looking for pornography. Men and women are interested in sex. 
please talk to your daughters about pornography. Prepare them for the fact that there's a lot of images out there that are geared to them and that are going to get them focused on bodies instead of getting to know people and developing real healthy relationships. By equipping your child to navigate the world that has pornography in it, many different shapes and forms you're actually helping to preserve the integrity of their future relationships helping them to build healthy relationships and not get stuck focused on bodies not get stuck on what bodies can do um so please talk to your children about pornography you know find the ways to answer their questions that you feel are appropriate for their age and trust me you are helping to preserve their innocence by doing so they're going to navigate some challenging situations so much better because you did that and uh, they're going to have much better things ahead of them. If you have any more thoughts on this topic, because it's definitely a complex one, or you have any questions, feel free to put that down in the comments. I'm happy to continue the conversation, and I hope this video is helpful. All the best. Bye.